Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing an unboxing and review of the Logitech PowerPlay mats. I've had this device for a couple of months now. I've been using it with my G502. Let's see if we can remove the wires from this review. <laughs> that one didn't even make sense. Let's jump right into this. So I've had this device for a couple of months now. I've been using it with my Lightspeed G502. So I've had quite some time to play around with it. I'm gonna be talking about some of the good things, some of the bad things, and then I'm gonna say if I recommend it or not. So the first thing I'm doing is taking a look at what comes in the box. The box itself is quite simple, but it's quite large overall because this is a wireless charging device. It can't be folded or bent or even rolled into any sort of shape. So the charging pad itself always needs to be on a flat shape. So inside the box, we get the actual wireless charging mat itself. We get our micro USB charging cable and it is a stabilized charging cable. It has these kind of pins on the side or these kind of rubberized texture mesh on the side to make it a little bit more stable. We also get two different textured mouse mats that we can lay on top of the wireless charging pad. Again, we'll take a look at these a little bit deeper a little bit later on. We also get the usual documentation and manuals inside here as well. So in terms of material, it is quite well built overall. The sides of the mouse mat itself are all of a nice rubberized texture material and the two different mouse mat covers we get inside are more of a soft and a very hard smooth plastic. These both feel pretty good in the hand and if you've used any other Logitech mouse mats these will feel very nice to you. So I like the soft top instead of the hard top that's always my preference but both of these feel pretty good and are nice options to have and you can always switch them out whenever you want and I would not recommend using a mouse directly on top of this wireless charging pad without a mouse mat on top. I think it would cause a lot of damage and it's definitely not something I would recommend whatsoever. But the mouse mats themselves stick really nicely on top of this mouse mat. I didn't have any issues with them rubbing off. Occasionally I would knock them off myself with my wrist so every couple of days I would have to recenter it but that's not a big deal in my opinion totally fine on this regard and then we have a lump on the back side that has our LED all the power controls and that's where we plug in our micro USB cable the Logitech logo on the power hub itself is made of a nice soft touch plastic and does feel relatively premium overall nothing too crazy here I think the LEDs and lights on it look pretty good so I'm happy overall with how this looks the included USB cable feels overall high quality and the stabilization on the micro USB section feels pretty good. I am a little bit disappointed to not see USB-C here. I feel like it's a much better cable. However, with the stabilization, it does improve micro USB a little bit, but I still think USB-C would have been the way to go. And it's a little bit disappointing to see that in the box. Now, I do think trying to use any external micro USB cables might give you some issues here just with the stabilization process and the actual way it connects in, but I haven't actually tested any others. I think the included one is just fine and is a nice length, so I wouldn't have any issues in that regard. Now, sadly, this is stuck on the left side of the mouse mat rather than the right. For me, this is a little bit annoying. I feel like most people will use this on the right side and I wish this cable box was on the right so the cables would route a little bit nicer. That's more of a personal opinion. Maybe you feel different, but I at least wish we would have the option to move this or have two different SKUs where we can buy one on the left and one on the right. I think that would be a much nicer option. Now, in terms of feature set, there's a couple of nice things included with this. Of course, it's going to wirelessly charge any wireless mouse from Logitech as long as you use the included battery hub that you can see on screen. At the moment, I'm putting this inside my G502 Lightspeed, and I believe it will have a normal battery life of around 50 hours. Although if you're going to be leaving it on this mouse mat, you will not need to worry about battery life whatsoever. I'll come back to that again a little bit later as well. But overall, I feel like this is a nice package. Now, one extra nice thing about this hub is when you actually use this mouse mat, you'll no longer need to use a Lightspeed adapter as this will be built into this mouse mat itself. So you won't need to take up two USB ports, one for the charging mat and one for the wireless dongle. This will act as both, which I think is a really nice nice feature as well. Even when you're not putting your mouse on this directly, it will still work because it also works as a wireless receiver. Your mouse can be placed in any position. However, it will only charge when it's directly on the mouse mat. So it does work like a normal wireless dongle in case that's of any instance to you. Maybe you move your mouse a lot or you constantly drag it around the room. This can be a good option in that regard as well. So I will jump in here with a quick post commentary. There was two things I forgot to mention when recording this. One is the actual lighting and LED on the power hub on the back. And the second thing is going to be talking about the software experience. So anyone that's used any other Logitech devices will know the G-Hub application. This is the same application that's going to be used to control and actually set up the different lighting modes and the different things related to our Logitech PowerPlay. It will be set up the same with all other devices as well. So all of our other devices will be 
accessible from the same application. So that's really, really nice to see. So if you have any other Logitech devices, they will also show up here. And in this case, since we're using a power play, so we will have one other wireless mouse at least showing up here. So we can control all of our different lighting modes, everything else here as well. And the cool part is we can actually synchronize it across all of our different Logitech devices. So you can see on screen that whenever I update one, it will typically update on my G502 as well. So it's really cool to have these things synchronized. One extra nice thing about the G Hub software is it does not require any login. So you can do it without a login, which again is another nice thing. And overall, the lighting and software experience is really good. Logitech does a really good job and typically updates and brings a lot of new features regularly. Now, in terms of the size of the mouse mat itself, I feel overall it is a good size. I think it gives a lot of room to travel. And even if you're going to be using your entire wrist or you like doing flicks, I don't think you'll be running out of space on this very often unless you get close to the edges occasionally. But overall, I feel like it is a good size. This is one area I do find a little bit disappointing. I wish they somehow integrated this at least into a full size XL mouse mat, even if only a small section was for charging around the same size. I think it would be a much better feature set. And I find it's a little bit disappointing that you can't actually put any sort of extended mouse mat here so you can also put your keyboard on top of it before this as already mentioned i use a razor goliath xl so i'm used to having my mouse and keyboard all on the same mouse mat i am working on a future project where i can hopefully solve this so be sure to subscribe to stay up to date for that and we'll be taking a look at some solutions for that in the future the next thing we're going to be talking about is the pricing and that's where i feel this gets a little bit difficult to recommend this comes in at around 130 euro or i believe around 100 to 150 dollars and that's where I find this is a really difficult pill to swallow. Overall, I find the wireless mice from Logitech have a really good battery life themselves, usually around 50 hours. So this does not add a lot in my opinion, as charging it every 50 hours is not a large deal. If you're someone who forgets to charge frequently, this is a great option. And overall, if I think you're a power user and you do have some extra budget, this can be a nice option. But if you're just using your mouse day to day, this is definitely not a necessity and I would not recommend it in that regard. But if you're a power user, you like to never worry about this while whatsoever and you have some budget and you're willing to pay a little bit extra for the premium of this i think it's a great product to pick up i do think it needs some improvements and iterations i think including a type c cable instead of a micro usb would be a much better option having two different versions or an option to choose if the power hub box is on the left or the right of the mouse mat would be a lot better in my opinion that way you can customize it to your own setup lastly i think including this in some xl version mouse mats either where we include a wireless charging mat for a phone or even a wireless charging mat for the wireless logic tech keyboards i think that would be a really nice option i know that last thing is going to be a long way away but even for the moment just including some sort of xl pad that would fit nicely on this to allow it be in the same corner and position would be a very nice option so overall as mentioned i would definitely recommend this under certain conditions but for most people i don't think this is needed i think it's a nice to have not a needed requirement but i definitely think it's a great product from logitech as mentioned there is a couple of things they can improve on but overall i think it's a great buy Anyway, guys, I want to take this moment to give you a huge shout out to the channel members, Sean Daly and Joshua Davis. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you'd like to have your name shout out on future videos or some other perks, be sure to click the join button underneath any video on the channel. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. If you want to support me, dropping super thanks in this video would be greatly appreciated. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.